we're nearly there, just setting up for Facebook. Okay, we're there now. We are now live on Facebook as well. So welcome to everybody this morning. As I say, I'm sure others will join us as the time goes on. They usually do. But welcome for this morning and joining us. And as I say, we're going to start off with Psalm 5. So I shall read it to you and then we shall, we shall pray over that. And it says, Listen to my words, Lord, consider my lament. Hear my cry for help, my King and my God, for to you I pray. In the morning, Lord, you hear my voice. In the morning, I lay my requests before you and wait expectantly. For you are not a God who is pleased with wickedness. With you, evil people are not welcome. The arrogant cannot stand in your presence. You hate all who do wrong. You destroy those who tell lies. The bloodthirsty and the deceitful, you, Lord, detest. But I, by your great love, can come into your house in reverence I bow down towards your holy temple. Lead me, Lord, in your righteousness because of my enemies. Make your way straight before me. Not a word from their mouth can be trusted. Their heart is filled with malice. Their throat is an open grave. With their tongues they tell lies. Declare them guilty, O Lord. Let their intrigues be their downfall. Banish them for their, their many sins for they are, have rebelled against you. But let all who take refuge in you be glad. Let them ever sing for joy. Spread your protection over them, that those who love your name may rejoice in you. Surely, Lord, you bless the righteous. You surround them with your favour as with a shield. That was Psalm 5. I'm just going to open up with usually just to say thank you to, far, to our Father um, for his, um, his great glory. Father, you are wonderful. You, ha you are just magnificent to us, Lord. You create an opportunity for us to worship you here globally today, Lord, and we thank you for that. We have people from, from many parts of the world here, Lord, with us today, and we thank you for that, Lord. Thank you for your great glory. You are wonderful. And Lord, you have created this universe. You have created it from, from the smallest atom to the widest expanse of the universe. And that is just mind blowing, Lord. It's difficult to get our heads around it, but you are sort of wonderful, Lord. But you, Lord, are wonderful. You've given us another day today, Lord, um, to be grateful for, Lord, and to thank you for, Lord. And we just hold this all up to you, Lord. You are magnificent. You are glorious. And we thank you, Lord. We thank you for your great glory. So, Lord, accept our prayers of prayer, praise of prayer of praise, Lord, in the mighty name of your son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Before we go on to Psalm 5 and praying over that, does anybody else want to pray? Please, Bishop. Please, please. Father, in the name of Jesus, dear righteous Father, we give it glory, we give it thanks for how grateful, how wonderful you are. We thank you for making it possible for us to see a blessed day like this. We thank you for the life of our, the ministers that are here today, that are here to join us in this prayer. We thank you for the women, women of God. We also thank you for the brothers and sisters that receive glory in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Asians of Day. Because there is no one like thee, there is no one to compare with you. You have made it possible for us to see ourselves in good health. Lord, receive glory, receive honor in the name of Jesus. As we are joining in this prayer today, Lord, I ask for your grace. I ask for revelation through prayer to rest upon us. And I ask, O oh God, that you lead us through, O oh God. Uh, also, I ask in any way, O oh Lord, we are sinned against you, forgive us. Watch us, our accuser, the accuser of the brethren. We have nothing to accuse us of. They are blood that speak better thing than the blood of heaven. Let that blood wash and sanctify us, that we can be able to stand before you this morning and ask 
in the name of Jesus. Thank you for being with us in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Bishop. Anybody else just would like to pray over um, just to glorifying God before we consider the Psalm 5 again? Father God, in Jesus' name, Lord, we want to thank you for this day and even gathering us in prayer. I pray in the name of the Lord that, God, you will be in our midst. And we pray that Jehovah God will guide us and will give us wisdom, knowledge, and understanding on how best to do this ministry, O oh God. I pray for every participant in the name of the Lord. And Father, I pray that you bring more into this group, even as we seek to serve you and follow you more, O oh God. I pray for Terry and the burden that you have bestowed upon his heart. Jehovah God, I thank you that you gave him a vision, you gave him a burden. And Father, as we join into this vision, help us to be useful and to be fruitful. And through us, you're going to reach many. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Hudson. Um, okay. Uh, the very first um verse of that psalm listen to my words lord consider my lament and we do lord ask you to to hear our prayers today lord we ask you to hear what we have to say you do say that um when two or more are gathered you will hear our prayer lord and we we are gathered here five of us at the moment from across the world and we thank you lord that we are able to do that lord but hear our prayer lord hear that all that we have to to place before you lord because we, you know, some of that is lament. We know, Lord, that there are struggles in the world. And we do many times often wonder what it's all about. Why is it the struggles that we have? Why do we, why do we struggle, Lord? Um, but you're, the, you're in control, Lord. And we thank you for that. We thank you that you're in control. Because when we do it, and as I will pray over it later on, something over it later on, Lord, but when we, when we are here to, to look after things, Lord, we mess it up. We mess it up big time. So we know, Lord, that you are in control and that your wisdom is far greater than ours. And we thank you for that, Lord. But in our sufferings, Lord, whatever that sufferings might be, might be whether it be, you know, difficulty putting food on the table, whether it just be difficulties with friends and family, and we know, Lord, that um, I was just reading yesterday in what we put out uh, in our Bible study, Lord, about um, how your son, Jesus Christ, didn't come down just to, to bring peace. He did bring peace for a lot of people, but he also brought a lot of division because families are divided and families will be divided over you and your son, Jesus Christ, because of his word, his message, Lord, and for our faith. And it's a faith that not everybody picks up on, Lord, although we try hard to be able to to show people that you are for real, that you are the way to follow. And we thank you for that, Lord. But that does provide, um, create division between us all, Lord, between our families, Lord. And so that pr provides us with a struggle and that provides us with a reason to lament. And we, we, we sort of place that before you, Lord, that within our struggles, that you hear our prayer. We know you hear our prayer and we know, Lord, because we are faithful to you, that you will provide all that we need for our good. And sometimes, sometimes, Lord, it doesn't look as though you, you know, you're hearing our prayer. But we know, Lord, that what we might ask for, you can actually provide something better if we just wait patiently. So we do wait patiently, Lord, for you to hear our prayer. We do sort of lament to you and we do bring our troubles to you, Lord. And you know the troubles of each and every one of us. You know who the, the, those the, those um, issues are. So, Lord, we just bring that, that verse to you, Lord. We just bring our lament to you. We do ask you, Lord, in our troubles to look after us. And again, we will be going over this a bit later on with our intercessory prayers, Lord. But at the moment, through that verse, I bring that to you, Lord, that you hear our prayer, you hear our lament. So I offer that to you, Lord, 
in the mighty name of your son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Anybody else want to offer prayer over that first verse, Bishop? Yes, Lord. Father, we give you praise. We come before you. Lord, the sound we raise says, give ear to my word, O oh Lord. Consider my meditation. Lord, we come before you, O oh God, that you hear us. You are a prayer hearing God. You are not the God that has ear, but they cannot hear. You are not the God that has eye, but they cannot see. You are not the God that has eye, but they cannot see. You are a living God. Father, we come before you this moment. We ask, O oh God, of day that you hear us, O oh God, because you said that when we call, you will hear us. He said, we will call in the days of trouble, you will hear us and deliver us from destruction. Daddy, it is your word. That's why we call upon you this morning. We say, God, give ear to our words and also to our meditation, a touch of our heart, our desire. Lord, hear, O Lord Father, and answer the desires of our heart that will be according to your word. Hear us, O Lord Father, according to your word. As your children gather together to cry to you, as your children gather together to call upon you, we ask so God, that you hear us urgently, that your name will be glorified, that your name will be exalted. You don't have another God to call upon and accept the answer us, O God, Father, that shame will be unto the enemy, and your name will be glorified. That what we know truly, we have a loving Father. They hear the cry of his people. Thank you, Lord, for answering us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Does anybody else want to pray over that first first verse? Um, listen to my listen to my words, Lord, consider my lament. If anybody else wants to pray over that, please open your mics. Okay. Next one that I I looked at um, was verse seven, and it said, "But I, by your great love." can come home into your house. In reverence, I bow down towards your holy temple. Father, we're grateful, Lord, that we can come into your presence. We're grateful, Lord, that you have chosen us. We are your people, and we thank you for that, Lord. We thank you that you are chosen. We are chosen and not forsaken, as I remember from one of the worship songs that I love to hear. We are chosen and not forsaken because we are children of God. And we thank you for that, Lord. We thank you that we are children of you, Lord. We do come before you, Lord, and we're thankful that we can come into your temple, we can come into your house. And um, we invite the Holy Spirit to be with us now, Lord. And perhaps I should have done that at the beginning, invite the Holy Spirit to come to, to come into the into this this meeting, into every each and every one of our hearts. We ask that the Holy Spirit comes down upon us, Lord. That is a temple with inside us the Holy Spirit being with inside us, that we can live in your presence with the Holy Spirit, Lord. And we thank you for that. We thank you that you are mighty. We thank you, Lord, that <laughs> we thank you, Lord, that you are mighty. We are thank you, Lord, that despite all your awesomeness, that we can still be in your presence. And we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for, for being the chosen ones, Lord. Um, being the chosen ones, Lord, we ask that you help us to to be able to um, to be able to do your work, Lord. We are here, Lord. We are building up this ministry, Lord, to to be in your presence, and we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, that we are in your presence, Lord. We are doing your work, Lord. We are seeking to spread that message. We said earlier, Lord, about how sometimes it is difficult, even with families and friends and our communities to be able to spread that message of you lord and that is difficult but that is what we're called to do lord and we thank you that you have chosen us lord we thank you lord that we can we because we're chosen we can come to you through your holy spirit we can be in your presence we can be in your house the temple lord is us it is your your people it is your church this is the thing that we are, Lord. We are your church and we come together, Lord, as one church. And we thank you for that, Lord. We thank you that we can come to your house. 
We thank you, Lord, that we can be in your presence. We thank you, Lord, that you are mighty and that you've chosen us as children of God. And Lord, may we serve you well. May on that great judgment day that you do not turn us away, Lord, that you say, yes, you, you I know, Lord. And I thank you, Lord, that you, you will take us in, Lord. We will see you in your glory. We will see you in your presence, Lord, when we come to you at that day of judgment, Lord, that you will, you know us, Lord, because we have turned to you. We have sought you. And we have found you, Lord. We have seeked and we have found. We have knocked and you've opened the door. And I thank you for that, Lord. I thank you, Lord, that you have chosen us. So again, I offer this prayer of thanks to you in the mighty name of your son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Does anybody else want to pray over the fact that we are children of God, basically, that we can come into his presence? Yes. Please do. Um, Thank you, Hudson. Father, in Jesus' name, our desire is to dwell in your presence because in your presence there is healing. In your presence there is joy. In your presence, there is love. In your presence, there is everything we ever needed, oh God. And Father, help us to stay in your presence for the days of your life, our lives, as we seek you, Jehovah God. And we pray that Jehovah God, even as we stay in your presence, you're going to help us, to empower us. And we pray for grace that we may reach out to many with the gospel of your word, O oh God, the changing gospel, gospel that changes life. And Father, in the name of Jesus, we desire to do your will, and we cannot do it without your help, O oh God. And pray that you help us, Jehovah God, even as we seek to find you deeper, to get deep understanding of the things and the knowledge of God and the word of God. We rely on your help, O oh God. And Father, I pray for everyone who is involved in this ministry, who is involved in what we're doing. Father, I pray that you will empower them. We pray that Jehovah God, the desire and the, the burden to serve you will grow more and more in them in the name of Jesus Christ. Jehovah, we bring unto you those who doesn't know you. We send your word, and we know that your word is going to touch their hearts. You're going to speak to them in a special way. We pray for your saving grace upon their lives, O oh God, that they may give their lives unto you, and Jehovah, they may serve you and fulfill their, your purpose in their lives, O oh God. Thank you again for this day even as we stay in your presence, seeking you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Hudson. Yeah. Um, Bishop, you got your mic open. Did you want to pray over that verse 7 that we've been praying about? I know you disappeared and came back again, but um, we have praying over the fact that um, we can be in his presence, we can be in his temple, um, if there's anything anybody wants to pray over that what particular verse, please do. Okay. Um, we move on to one more verse before we um, before we go into what we call intercessionary prayer. So I'm going to look at verse 11, and it says. But let all who take refuge in you be glad. Let them sing for joy. Spread your protection over them, that those who love your name may rejoice in you. And Lord, we know that we can turn to you, Lord, and that you protect us. And we just need to remember that sometimes. Sometimes when we, we have our doubts, when we, we feel that you aren't there, Lord, and we don't see the end of the, or the light at the end of the tunnel, as we say here. Sometimes, Lord, we have to be sort of knowing that you've protected us, Lord, because you have done in the past, Lord. We are here today, Lord, because you have protected us. You have protected us, Lord. 
you have protected us from the evils you have protected us from all temptations you have protected us from from the world the world and everything that it wants to throw at us lord you have protected us and we thank you for that lord we thank you for your mighty protection lord you have placed that hedge around us lord that we can be protected you have put your loving arms around us so that we can be protected and we can know your love we know your warm embrace lord because you have done it before lord and we know you will do it again we know lord that you will always look after us and we thank you for that lord so father just help us to remember that that you protect us always that you help us lord and that you guide us lord through your holy spirit you guide us and we thank you we thank you for your great protection so lord just be with us all lord there's let's say there's people from all over this world and we will pray for the world in a minute lord but just place your loving protection around it all lord let us see your love we know your love is there lord and we do see it daily with the blessings that you pour upon us and we thank you for that lord because you are a loving god and we thank you for the blood of your son jesus christ which cleanses us because of our faith in you lord or through your son jesus christ because of our faith in him and the blood that he shed we are cleansed we are cleansed from our sins so again that is our protection lord the blood of your son jesus christ protects us from the sins that we have committed and as human beings lord we know we're probably going to sin again because we don't intentionally go out and sin but because of we got that human nature unfortunately we will sin lord but that blood of your son jesus christ cleanses us every time lord when we turn to you when we repent of our sins you clean it, your son's blood cleanses us and we thank you for that lord we thank you for that clean um clean spirit that we have now lord because of your son so lord we thank you for that we thank you for your, your for your protection we thank you that you look after us lord that we are children of god and that you protect us we thank you for that lord so please lord accept this prayer of thanks for your protection we accept this prayer of thanks for the blood of your son jesus christ that cleanses us lord and lord we know lord that we are our sins are forgiven lord and that is such a such a, an amazing thing lord because we know that we are building our treasures up in heaven lord because we turn to you because of our faith in you lord that's where our treasures are being built in in your kingdom lord and we thank you for that lord so lord i offer these prayers to you lord in the name of your son jesus christ amen does anybody else want to pray over verse 11 that we just prayed for please open your mic yes lord father we we give you praise we ask so oh god daddy we come before you this morning, we ask for protection. Lord, we ask for your protection upon our life and family. Lord, we ask, oh God, because without you, we can do nothing. That's why we are calling upon you, God, Father, for you to protect us, guide us, lead us. But if the Lord did not guide a city, the watchman that watches in vain, Lord, we ask to oh God that you guide or we cannot guide ourselves. We cannot protect ourselves. Protect us, O oh God, Father. Our brothers and sisters, our loved ones, uh, even our countries, especially in Nigeria, there are kidnappers, bandits everywhere. Protect your children. In other parts of the world, that we ask to oh God that you protect each and every one of us. They will be alive to worship you. They will be alive to to go out for the missionary work, to do your work. Lord, a dead man cannot do a missionary work. That's how we are calling upon you, God, to protect us. Protect us, O God, Father, in terms of healing. Protect and give us good health. Protect us, O God, Father, because it says in your word that you will not allow the disease of the Egyptians to come upon us. Lord, heal us, O God, Father, that will be healthy to go out to preach the gospel. Lord Jehovah, we ask, O oh God, that we believe that you have done this for us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
Amen. And does anybody else want to pray um, over the protection that God gives us? Or indeed, if they feel they need being protected, then please open your mic. Yes. Morning, Edwin. Let us, yes, let us believe and uh, pray. Our wife, family, Father, we thank you for this morning. We thank you for the gift of life that you have granted us, Jesus Christ. Thank you for your protection, God. Thank you for good things that you are giving us. You are just enjoying Jesus. We are alive. I pray for all presidents who have been. You see, so this group, Jesus, particularly for prayers, we are we are we are we are long we have long to Jesus Christ. We know we are sinners. We may sin unknowing God. We ask you for forgiveness. We are asking your protection to come upon us, Jesus Christ. Protect us the way you protected Abraham. Protect us the way you protected Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Protect us, Jesus Christ, the way you protected Israelites, Jesus Christ. Pray, give us our daily bread. Give us, uh, meet our needs. We are struggling here and at here, Jesus Christ, to meet our needs, but you, you know, you, we are, you are able to, pro, to give us, Jesus Christ, provide. Help us, protect us, protect the LN congregation across the world that you're talking about your word, Jesus Christ. I'm praying for Christians. I'm praying for the Kunganisha ministry. I'm praying also for this group, God. Help us, protect us, give us vision, God. Give us knowledge, give us wisdom, Jesus Christ, so that we can spread your, your word, Jesus Christ. I bring for the governments, our government, Jesus Christ. I thank you for the president who is devoting himself to worship you, God. I thank, I thank you for that, Jesus Christ. I'm praying that you give us what we need. You give us what we lack, Jesus Christ. We know you are our father. You are the one who will give us Jesus Christ. You say that every, any child that can ask you uh, is talent, he or she received what she asked in Jesus Christ. We are praying for you to answer our prayers, Jesus Christ. And also you provide where we are going along, Jesus Christ. You let you pass, Jesus Christ. You send your whole spirit so that it can guide us in every way, Jesus Christ. I'm praying, believing in, in you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Okay, just uh, anybody else would like to pray over protection before we move on to our intercessionary prayers? Seem to lost Bishop Joseph again. I think his connection's been a bit poor this morning, but um, I'm sure he'll be back. Okay. Oh, yeah, he's back. Um, okay, we'll move on to, to praying for, for things of the world and for people individually. Um, first up, I will pray for Stefano, or particularly his church. Um, I'm not entirely sure exactly where he is with his church, but um, Stefano's doing a great job in trying to get his church to become part of this ministry. And okay. I have seen... Any message, you any man. Oh, hello. <laughs> um, so I'm praying for Stefano's church. I have seen one of his members trying to join us this morning, but um, didn't do so particularly successfully. Um, but we pray for his church. We pray for um, whatever the issues that they're having, Lord, um, may you be upon that. May you be in control of that. May you help that church, Lord, to, to thrive. May you help that church to grow. May that church grow in your name. May that church grow in your truth, knowing that um, it is from your word in the Bible, Lord, that we we, we guide our lives that we um, we follow um, follow you, Lord, and that we set our lives um, uh, by what you tell us through that Bible, Lord, through the truth. So, Father, we we pray for that church. We pray that they follow you through good biblical teaching, through good prayer, for good Christian fellowship, for the Holy Spirit guiding them, Lord. We offer that church up to you, Lord, that they they look to to come to you lord we thank you lord that that church is also um that church is looking to sort of be part of this ministry and this ministry we, we talk about this ministry lord we want it to grow but this ministry is about 
it's about coming together. That's what Kunganesha ministry is all about. So we do pray for this ministry as well, that Stefano's church can be part of this because we are bringing ministries together. We are bringing ministries together to work together, Lord, for your your kingdom, to be able to make your kingdom grow, Lord. And this is why we're coming together, Lord, in your name. So, Lord, we do ask, we do ask, Lord, that you um, you make this kingdom grow, Lord. We do ask, Lord, that this ministry grows. And it, it, it's not about competing with other ministries. It's about bringing other, all ministries together, Lord, in your name, Lord. And that's what we're seeking to do, Lord, for your name, for your glory. And so we ask, we thank you, Lord, that Stefano's church is part of this. We thank you, Lord, that all these people that we see here online this morning are part of it, Lord, a part of you, the, the movement to bring un unity in your church, Lord. So as we pray for Stefano's church, we pray for all churches, Lord. We pray for all churches, Lord, that they thrive. We pray, Lord, that all churches um come together in your name lord that all churches preach biblical biblical truth lord i've seen a lot just recently about false teachings lord and we do want to be able to to drive out the false teachings lord and to be able to concentrate on the truth the truth which is your word the truth which comes from your word lord so we do pray for churches around the world lord that they they seek the truth they seek to promote you lord they seek to glorify you lord through your through your word and through your truth lord so I hold, hold all churches up to you as well as stefano's church lord we hold all churches up to you lord in the mighty name of your son jesus christ amen yes. does anybody else want to pray either for stefano's church or the church in general yes <clears throat> Let us pray and the pray. Just Christ, we ask you to help Bridger Stephen, who is struggling to, to build the shed where they can worship in Jesus Christ. I know you are the one who provides. I know you are the one who can give. You are the one who can satisfy the human needs, Jesus Christ. How good that you can help Pastor Stephen also to have a good place to where they can worship, they can worship God. Open, open ways, open doors for funds, open doors for resources, so that he can have to finish building the worshiping place, Jesus Christ. Because even the disciples, they met in Jerusalem so that they receive the whole spirit, Jesus Christ. Now it's a place for gathering their making Jesus Christ, make it possible, make it good Jesus Christ. I'm praying for that congregation, God. I'm praying for the Christians who are the fellow, fellow who are fellowship in that judge Jesus Christ. I'm also helping uh, uh, praying that give them good health, give them provide for them Jesus Christ. The way they are struggling to build the church Jesus Christ. I'm praying for Stephen Jesus Christ. Send your whole spirit to him, Jesus Christ, as he is your work jesus christ praying for that you can provide for him you know his work you know his heart jesus christ help him also jesus christ your servant you say that you are the one who can provide jesus christ and now we are your children jesus christ provide for us provide for pastor stefano jesus christ let him not struggle anymore god provide i'm praying also for this ministry, Jesus Christ, has he is part of this ministry, Jesus Christ. We are praying for you, Jesus Christ. We are asking Jesus, answer our prayers, God. Answer our prayers and also provide more people. Make, um, can you bring more people who can join this ministry, Jesus Christ? Because it's not biased. It is just bringing all of them together that having the same vision, Jesus Christ. Have conversion to mission, God. Bring more people who are relevant for the word of God. Bring more relevant people, Jesus Christ. I'm praying, believing that Jesus Christ, I'm going to do according to your will in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Does anybody, Amen. Else want to, anybody else want to pray for the church or either Stefano's church or the church in general? The Bible says that the church will march on and the gates of hell cannot prevail. Lord, I bring your son before your God. You call him, O oh Lord, you did not call him to disgrace him. 
He did not call him into a ministry to frustrate him. He did not call him to abandon him. Lord, I ask, O oh God, that you strengthen him more and more. Lord, give him more vision, more clear vision in his calling. And give him power to continue the grace to have patience, to follow you, patient, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Father, I also pray for other ministers that are in the ground. Lord, I ask so God that frustration will not pull us out of the way and out of the calling that you have called us along. That frustration that the enemy will bring over, Father, will not pull us out in the name of Jesus. Lord, I also believe that we are in a perennial time. Lord, I ask, O oh God, Jehovah, that this period, O oh God, Father, false teaching, false doctrine, will not pull us out from the truth, O oh God, Father. That the enemies, the antichrist, that the enemy, they, they will send to us to come and give us false doctrine that will not eat or eat, O oh God. Give us the ability to, to design and to know the right person and the right teaching to follow in the name of Jesus. Father, I cover each and every one of us, our ministry, we cover her with the blood of Jesus. I will also pray for the members, our disciples that are with us, O oh God, Father, that none, the enemy will not come to steal them from us because it says, the Jesus said, I know my sheep and my sheep knows, they hear my voice and they follow me. Lord, as they hear us speak, O oh God, Lord, they will follow us. Apostle Paul says, follow me as I follow Christ. Jesus, let them follow us as we follow Christ. May we follow Christ in sincerity. May we follow Christ in righteousness. May we follow Christ in the willingness of his word. This I pray and believe on it. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Okay. Anybody else, before we move on to the next um, prayer, does anybody else want to pray for the church as well? Yes, uh, I would love to pray for Pastor Stefano. And Father, in Jesus' name, I pray for Pastor Stefano, Jehovah God, even as he struggles to finish that building that is meant for your worship. I pray for provision of finances that are needed, Jehovah God, in finishing that structure in the name of Jesus Christ. God, wherever any finances is that is meant to finish that work, I pray that it is released in the name of Jesus Christ. And through Pastor Stefano, I also remember other pastors who may be doing a similar project right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, may you come through for them and provide for finances that are needed to do your work in the name of Jesus. I pray Amen. for the body, body of Christ around the world. I know there are many pastors who are going through similar situations, who are struggling, Jehovah God, even for placing the tent of worship, and they're struggling in many ways, Jehovah God, to bring out your word to your people. I pray, Jehovah God, you shall help them and you shall send helpers from wherever they are in the name of Jesus Christ, that your servants, O oh God, will be able to accomplish the vision that you gave them in the name of the Lord. I pray for good health of apostles. I pray that, Jehovah God, you shall protect them. Some of them are serving in difficult uh, areas, in difficult uh, times. And God, I pray for your protection, and I pray that none of them will lose hope and will lose heart to serve you. You shall encourage them and empower them in the name of Jesus Christ. I thank you, Lord, because I know you hear prayers, and you have heard our prayers this morning, and you have answered them, and that your servants, Jehovah God, are getting a breakthrough in doing your work. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Okay. I want to um I want to bring John to 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 us. Um John normally has been joining us just recently. Um but uh he's he here in England um and I've um been sort of contacting him quite regularly. Uh I'm not sure what the situation is with him at the moment, but um you may remember that we have prayed for him that his 
daughters were able to get passports from to bring them from Uganda back to him in in England. Uh, I'm not sure what where he is with that at the moment. The last I heard, um, he was struggling with all sorts of bureaucracy. Um, but I just want to place him before us, um, place John before you, Father, um, that you have that situation in control. As I say, we know that the things that we ask for, sometimes we don't actually get them because you have better things for us, Lord. You have better ideas and you have um, better situations for us, Lord. But whatever that situation is with John, just give him peace in that particular time or in this particular time. Let him know your comfort. Let him know that you are in control and that he will be with his daughters and his wife again soon, um, whether it be here in England or whether it be back in Uganda or wherever it might be that you are sending them to to, to work for you, Lord, and to be able to um, be together doing your, your work, Lord. I know of many... Many families, I say, one a few families, should I say, that have actually gone out um, to do your work as families, Lord, around the world, and they have done so, Lord, Lord, willingly, Lord. So whatever your plans for John is, whatever your plans for for him to continue to build your kingdom, may he be able to do that with his family. I mean, if it means getting this bureaucracy sorted out so he can have the passport sorted that they can come they can come to him lord here in england may that be the case lord but come what may lord we do place john into your hands we do place john into your care and we just ask him lord to feel feel your love lord and we pray that he's okay because at the moment obviously he hasn't been able to join us for whatever reason this morning so we just pray for his health and fitness as well lord that he he's okay so father we do pray we do place john into your hands lord and we do so in the mighty name of your son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Anybody else like to pray? Just pray for John, who, who would normally sort of join us this time in the morning. If anybody would like to pray for him, please do. Okay. Yes. Yes, please do, Edwin. Okay. Father. Thank you again, God. We pray, we put Sean onto your able hand, Jesus Christ. You know his needs. We want his family to be together. Jesus Christ, his family is in Uganda and he's. You've seen to frozen Edwin. Jesus Christ, you are wonders. Can you do your miracle so that they can, everything that can be impossible to be possible so that he can join together with the family, Jesus Christ. I know you have a good plan for each and everybody, Jesus Christ. And you have said in Matthew 7, 7, that asks and knock, it shall be opened. So Jesus, we have asked you, we have requested you just Jesus Christ, help John, give him time with the family, Jesus Christ. Can you give him that opportunity so that he can be the family in England, Jesus Christ. He's your servant, Jesus Christ. He's your child. He has asked Jesus Christ. We believe that you are going to answer. You are going to give what he asks, Jesus Christ. And also we are praying that his, his wood is his healthy, even if he has not joined this morning, Jesus Christ. He's a good servant of you, Jesus Christ. We believe that you are going to make things happen uh, in his way, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, we are praying believing so what is the problem with it sorry Peace together yeah uh, praying believing jesus name amen. amen amen okay um i'm going to go on to praying for the for situations in the world in a second but is there anybody else with any individual prayer before we move on Okay, um, we're going to say move on to prayer for the world. And uh, just to give you a little bit of an explanation, um, this week I've had um, <laughs> quite a difficult time traveling to work. Um, here in England, we have this big motorway that goes all the way around, the, around London, which is called the M25. And I've been traveling on it each and every day this week, Monday through to Wednesday. 
I got caught in all sorts of um, troubles on the on the roads because there've been protesters. There've been protesters. Um, they call themselves Just Stop Oil campaign, and they're about trying to stop the use of oil, um, particularly in the United Kingdom, but um, I mean ultimately throughout the world. But it, it does give me some thought that we are trying to um, we are asked to be stewards of this world. And at the moment, we have the COP27 um, conference in Egypt, which is supposed to be about um, finding ways to, to protect the world and to be able to look after the world and to be able to bring it back to the way it used to be. So, um, so through that, I just, through that meet, um, <laughs> that struggles that I had this week with traveling um, through the protesters, it does bring to mind this world. And so Father, we do um, particularly ask, Lord, do you look after this world? We are called to be stewards of this world, Lord, and to look after it. So, Lord, we do place this world into your hands, Lord, and help us to find the proper ways of looking after it. Um, sometimes I hear things like um, people saying that, um, you know, people are saying that you're coming to the end times, rightly or wrongly but these things are going to happen anyway they're preordained so perhaps we do not need to <laughs> to worry so much about it but i think we do we are, we know that whether we are coming to the end times or not father we are called to be stewards of this world we are called to be able to look after this planet so father for that lord i do ask lord that you help us and you guide us to be able to find solutions to be able to look after your world, to be able to um, create a better planet. And whether that be, Lord, with the um, the environment, whether it be better ways of um, that environment, help us to find it, Lord. Also, Lord, help us to find solutions to the, the troubled areas of the world, where there's wars, where there are unrests. Help us to be able to find answers to that, Lord. Help us to help us to be able to soften hearts and to find ways of softening hearts that mean that the, this world is no longer um, a place of unrest and a place of war. So, Lord, we just place before you the whole world, Lord, and that situation, the situations that we have there, Lord, with the situations with the environment, with the situations with the wars, and as we know, Lord, because I'm sure many of us here online today, Lord struggling financially so we we place the financial situation into your hands lord and the financial situation has probably come about because of um the problems with with oil demand and oil supply so um perhaps in their their own little way that that those protesters do have kind of a point about the use of oil and how it is impacted on us now, Lord, with our financial situations. At the end of the day, Lord, you're in control of it, Lord, but we want to do your work. We want to be able to build your kingdom. We want to be able to show people your glory. So, Lord, help us to find ways of, Lord, being able to show, um, protect your world, whether it be the environment, whether it be softening people's hearts so there's no longer wars, so there's no longer unrest. And to be able to um, to see our way through these financial difficulties that many people suffer, Lord. So, Lord, I do place this world up into your hands, Lord, and just help and guide us, Lord, to protect it, Lord. So I do so in the mighty name of your son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Anybody else would just like to pray out about to pray for the world? Yes, let us pray for the world. <laughs> Father, thank you for the environment, Jesus Christ. Thank you for the beautiful world that you give us, church, so we are li living in Jesus Christ. We are praying that Jesus Christ, you bring vision that we can control our environment so that it cannot affect our lives, Jesus Christ. I'm praying that you bring, you bring uh, wisdom, how we can make this environment favorable for us and for the coming generation, Jesus Christ. I'm praying for all who are working hard 
to make this environment favorable Jesus class. We, we heard, we hear from different lightning studies that is destruction of a sun layer, meaning that there is direct layers of sun from the from direct to the human Jesus Christ, which can make can make diseases Jesus class. Now Jesus class bring vision so that this world can be favorable for for your people to to live in for this generation and the coming generation in Jesus class. I know you are the one who can make things happen. You are the one who can control the environment. You are the owner of this world, Jesus Christ. We come to you as your servants. We come to you as your children. We come to you, Jesus Christ, asking that Jesus Christ, can you make this environment favorable for everybody to live in, but to be better for our lives, Jesus Christ, to be better where we can survive and get food from the environment where we are living in Jesus Christ and praying for this world. Can you bring peace for each and every country like Russia and Ukraine? Can you bring peace to each and every country like, like DLC Congo? Can you bring like Ethiopia, Jesus Christ? Bring peace, Jesus Christ. Bring a better environment where everybody can enjoy it, where every rights can be protected, Jesus Christ. Because this can make it favorable for your word to be spread, can make favorable for Christians to travel close to spread your word, Jesus class. I'm praying for everybody who is living in this world. I'm praying for Christians across the world, Jesus class, who are also killed some parts of the world. They are killed because of your word, Jesus class. How how would Jesus class because? You are above everything that you can bring them, you can protect them, Jesus Christ. Can you you can provide for them, Jesus Christ? You can make them so that they can be able having their their rights, Jesus Christ, to worship. I'm praying, believing in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Okay. We've had a good time of prayer this morning. So we are coming to the close. Um I just we pray for the, the ministry as we've talked about this morning and we thank you for that. Um, just sort of be aware that um, um, we are getting more and more people on board. We are um, um, getting more people who are interested in, in what we're doing. And um, to that extent, I mean, we haven't seemed to have anybody from um, the Indian subcontinent online this morning, um, but we do have um, members um, out in Pakistan and in India and in Bangladesh. Um, so we just want to hold them up into prayer to you as well. Particularly tomorrow, um, I will be on a meeting with with some people in India. Um, so we do know that you know the the, the name Kunga Nation Ministry is moving out to to other people. Um, so I mean, we but we do continue for the um, the praying of this ministry that it, it grows. And as I say, and it's it's not even really sort of about the ministry. It's about just bringing people together in order to, to build God's kingdom. So, Lord, help us, Lord, because we believe we are, have the hearts, Lord, to be able to do your work. We be, believe that we have the, the heart to show your glory, and this is what we're about, Lord. And bringing people together, Lord, is about showing your glory. So, Father, we just um, continue to ask you to, to guide us, to help us, to bring people together for your name, for your glory, Lord because this is what it's about. So, Lord, we thank you, Lord, for all those who are online today. And as I say, we have people from across Africa. We have myself in, in England. We have Annalyn in Hawaii at the moment, who comes from Micronesia. And it's, it, it's so wonderful to know we have that connection as well, Lord. Um, we thank you for her presence here today. Um, again, we just pray for our brothers and sisters in the Indian subcontinent, Lord, that you look after them, because again, it is a, an extremely difficult part of the world to be able to, to spread your glory, Lord, and spread your name, Lord. So we just pray and hold them up to you as well, Lord. But as we move away from our meeting today, Lord, can you bless each and every one of us? So, so bless Bishop Joseph, bless Edwin, bless Annalyn, bless Stefano. Bless Dal Mac, bless Missionary Moses, and uh, Bishop Hudson as well, who was with us um, earlier. Bless him too, Lord. And for all those who 
uh, tuning into this um, prayer meeting through Facebook. Bless each and every one of them as well, Lord, that um, they know that they know that you are blessed, Lord, that you bless them, should I say, Lord. So, Lord, we thank you for this time this morning. We thank you for um, what we've been able to um, pray about. We thank you for your fellowship. So, Lord, we hold all this up to you, Lord. We thank you for this wonderful time. We hold it all up to you, Lord. In the mighty name of your son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Okay, before before you go, where, where, is, where is brother, brother Stefano? He's there somewhere. Can, can, you, can you speak, please? Can you open your mic, please, Stefano? Well, now I'm, I'm in a window. You are in a window? Yeah, but, yeah, but I live in Kenya. Near for you, to you. I know Kenya, I was there. I tried to call you, but you are not, you are off. So uh, I, I thought that you are, you are in, you are in, 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 in Kenya. I was to visit there because I'm, I'm, I'm traveling with Brother Robert. There's somebody that I want to pray with, to pray with this, this, this afternoon. Yeah. Okay, welcome. Okay. I'm waiting for you. Okay, you, please, I, if you can, if you can um, contact each other, I mean, that's great that you're doing all this work and you're doing it to the glory of God. So please contact each other and make that connection because that would be great. Um, so, yeah. so I want, I wanted to, to tell him that uh, if possible, let, let him have my number. I may visit him tomorrow in his church. So I will have okay, the, I will okay. be happy to share with him and uh, I will provide one iron sheet. So if I will be there. <laughs> okay, welcome. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, that, that that's God's blessing again, isn't it? That's God's answer, uh, you know, hearing our prayer. And we, we thank you for that. We thank you for that. Okay. Um, perhaps if you all would like to open your mics, then perhaps we can just say goodbye to everybody. So let's all open our mics now and let's just say goodbye to everybody. Okay. God bless you all. Bye. Take care. God bless you. God bless you. We'll be online again God next week. You. We'll be online again Thank next you. week. God bless you. God bless you. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. Amen. 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 God bless you all.